वेलकम टू द स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल ऑन क्रेडल होल्ड फॉर ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट चूजिंग द करेक्ट ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग होल्ड फॉर अ मदर एंड हर बेबी मदर्स प्रेपरेशन बिफोर ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग एंड हाउ टू डू द क्रेडल होल्ड लेट एस बिगेन Across the world mothers breastfeed their babies using various types of holds as discussed in an earlier tutorial the best breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby is the one in which both mother and baby are comfortable for the entire duration of breastfeeding the baby is able to attach deeply to the mother's breast and get sufficient milk Let us learn about one of the holds called cradle hold. Before feeding her baby, the mother must wash her hands with soap and water and dry her hands properly. Then she should drink a glass of boiled and cooled water. Lactating mothers produce 750 to 850 milliliters of milk per day on an average. Therefore, they need to increase their daily water intake next let's discuss the position of the mother mother should sit on the floor or on the bed in cross legged position or on a chair with her feet flat on the ground if the chair is too high and her feet do not reach the floor then she can rest her feet flat on a small stool or pillows kept on the floor while sitting she should ensure that her back is straight so as to avoid back pain her shoulders are relaxed and not elevated or curved and this relaxed position is maintained throughout the breastfeeding session now the mother should uncover the breast from which she wants to feed the baby she should ensure not to put pressure of her bra or blouse on the breast after sitting comfortably bring the baby to the mother mother should hold her baby with the arm on the same side of the breast that she will feed from baby's head should rest comfortably in the inner bend of the elbow of that arm with the same arm mother should support the head neck and torso of her baby the mother in this picture will feed the baby from her right breast therefore she is using her right arm to support the baby's head neck and torso and the baby's head is resting in the inner bend of her right elbow if the mother wants additional support to lift the baby she can keep a pillow under the baby on her lap remember the mother should never bring the breast to the baby by bending her back this will make her uncomfortable and cause back pain she should always keep her back straight and lift the baby to reach her breast next let us learn how to position baby's body correctly the baby's stomach should be gently pressed by the mother's body lesser distance between their bodies will reduce the baby's effort to reach the breast and it will become easier for the baby to attach deeply then the second important point is the direction in which the baby's entire body is held you may have noticed that when we eat food our head neck and body are always in the same direction but while breastfeeding the baby's head is often turned sideways by many mothers this will make feeding uncomfortable for the baby baby's head neck and body should always be in the same direction while breastfeeding this will make swallowing milk easier for the baby now we come to the third point in positioning the baby's body the mother should support the head neck and torso of her baby otherwise the baby will have to take a lot of effort to attach deeply to the breast next 
Let's look at the position of the baby's nose and chin. Baby's nose should be in line with the nipple and her chin should be forward and very close to the breast. This will ensure that the baby takes in more of the lower part of the areola while latching and therefore will use the lower jaw to drink more milk efficiently. Please note, areola is the dark area around the nipple. Now that the baby is positioned correctly, let us learn how to hold the breast. Using the fingers of the hand that is free, the mother should cup her breast in a U-shape hold from the top. The mother in this picture will use her left hand to hold her right breast. To understand the correct position of thumb and fingers, imagine the nipple to be the center of a clock on the mother's right breast. Mother should place her left thumb at 3 o'clock position on this clock, while her left index finger and middle finger should be placed at 9 o'clock position. Mother's fingers holding the breast should always be in the direction of the baby's lips. Why? Let's understand this using a simple example. When we eat a vada pao or burger, our lips open horizontally. We hold the vada pao or burger horizontally to take a big bite. Here, the thumb and fingers are placed in the direction of the lips. If we hold the vada pao or burger vertically, we won't be able to take a big bite. Similarly, observe the direction of baby's lips. The lips are vertical here. Therefore, the fingers and thumb should also be placed vertically on the breast. This will help the baby to take a big part of the lower areola in her mouth. In addition to being in the direction of the baby's lips, mother's thumb and fingers should always be at a distance of three fingers from the nipple. Again, while eating a vada pao or burger, if we hold it too close, our fingers will block our mouth from taking a big bite. If we hold it too far away, it will not be shaped correctly to fit in our mouth. Therefore, we hold it at the right distance to take a big bite. Similarly for the baby, the right distance is of three fingers from the nipple as shown in this picture. This distance will ensure that Mother's fingers do not block the baby from taking a big part of the areola in her mouth. Mother does not compress only the nipple which will give very little milk. Mother compresses the larger milk ducts beneath the areola to express more milk out and the breast is shaped correctly to help the baby attach deeply. Remember, mother's thumb should be on the side of the breast where the baby's chin is present and her two fingers should be on the side of the breast where baby's nose is present. Let's go back to the example of vada pao or burger. After holding the vada pao or burger correctly, we always press it to take a big bite. Similarly, the mother should lightly press her breast in a U-shaped hold from the top. This will help the baby to take a big part of the lower areola in her mouth. But remember, mother should not press her breast in an inverted V-shape hold. V-shape compression will pinch the breast and cause nipple feeding. Also make sure that there is equal compression of the breast with the thumb and the fingers. Otherwise, the nipple will shift either to the right or the left side and the baby will not be able to attach deeply to the breast. Remember, never bring the breast to the baby by pushing it sideways towards the baby. Always bring the baby towards the breast. Now, the baby is in cradle hold and ready to attach to the breast for breastfeeding. Correct attachment of the baby to the breast is explained in another video in the same series.
As soon as the baby is attached deeply to the breast and if the breast is not too heavy then mother should release her breast from her hand and bring that hand underneath the baby for support. In this position mother should bring both her arms very close to her body. This will keep her comfortable during breastfeeding. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.